In our last video, we made Takan easy. Today, we're stepping into more dangerous skies. This time, the threats are real, and they're hunting you. Gone are the days of panic spamming chaff and flares. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of how to defend yourself, dramatically increasing your chances of staying airborne and out of harm's way. We'll be running through real-time practical use of ECM and countermeasures, showing you exactly how to detect threats on the RWR and what to deploy and when. Just like in our Takan video, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process to program your countermeasures with confidence. Before we get into defense, make sure your jet is fully set up. If you haven't already, check out the F-18 startup tutorial here on the channel to get everything running smoothly. Once you're powered up, switch the countermeasure dispenser to on and arm your ECM by setting the switch to standby, then to exmit when you're ready to activate the jammer. Now let's dive into programming your countermeasures to handle both radar and infrared guided missile threats. Ready? Here we go. First, ensure the attack page is selected, and then select EW. Press the ALE 47 OSB. And select ARM. Here we've got program one, ideal for long range engagements where the threat level is lower. Think of it as your first line of defense. Select a flare. I press the increment level up to add to two flares, or however many you want. Press the repetition button, and you'll notice it was on 10, so we'll bring the repetition down to something like 3. Press the interval OSB. Now we'll reduce the time interval down to 3 quarters of a second. Don't forget to press save. This is just a quick guide, however, tweet your chaff, flares, interval timing and repetition settings as needed. Cycle through the step button to reach program 5. We'll use program 5 as your last ditch defense, built for high threat scenarios where every second counts. Select chaff and increase the increments as desired. Since we'll be facing both IR and radar guided threats, it's smart to have a well balanced mix of chaff and flares. In this case, we'll increase the repetition and we'll reduce the intervals right down to a quarter of a second for rapid deployment. Again, press save. I press the return button to return us back to RWR. Note that at the top, the ALE 47 is still on standby. We need to change that. Now you can toggle through the modes. First off, we have manual, which is the one we'll be using today. You also have semi-automatic and automatic, however, we'll go through those in another video. Programming through manual mode would more than suffice for now. We'll go through the controls shortly, but just remember that program one is activated through dispense switch aft, and program five will be operated by dispense switch forward. You'll probably never need this, but here's the ECM jettison switch. Right, here's the RWR Threats Knee Board. I'll provide a link for this in the comments. This will help you dramatically. Note at the top section here, these are your air threats, and you'll notice MiG-29. Going down here on the left is your surface-to-air threats. And here on the right are the naval threats. 
pay specific attention to the SA-8. Note there that there's a blue C. And the SA-13, which will also face, there is a red F. Go down to the key here and you'll see blue C for chaff, red F for flares. Now having this information, you can defend yourself properly. In the red box is the symbology, which you'll see in the RWR. And as I mentioned earlier, here are your control bindings for the dispense switch aft and forward. Note the semicircle underneath 13, that means you've been tracked. At this point, keep your calm, turn away from the threat and deploy your countermeasures. Now you'll see on the right where the missile gets fooled by the flares. Okay, here's a different beast with the radar guided SA-8. That flashing line means the threat is critical. Looking over our left shoulder there, you'll see the two missiles. I've also deployed flares just to illustrate where the chaffs were released. I think it's time to give them a taste of their own medicine. Did somebody say mix? As I'm now being tracked, the MiG-29 has moved to the lethal band. The jammer now switched on, although at this stage I'm still not sure if it's IR or a radar threat. Usually if it's long distance it's most likely radar anyway. Therefore I'll get low and use the terrain to guard me. Jammer's on, but it doesn't mean I'm safe. Whilst we know now it has fired a radar guided missile, there is a potential that there's also IR on its way. Therefore, a mixed bag of chaff and flares is going to keep you safe.
This guide was kept simple on purpose, just what you need to start flying smarter and staying alive. One quick tip to remember, the ECM jammer works best at range. Once you're close, it won't break locks. So always combine it with smart countermeasures and maneuvering. If this helped, please hit like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like covered next. More F-16 content is on the way. And if you're into classic warbirds, I've got some exciting Spitfire videos coming soon. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and see you in the next sortie.